my name's Victoria Healy, and welcome to Not A Lot Of People Know That. Yeah. Each week, two teams battle it out to see who knows more about niche interests and weird hobbies, like jogging, skiing, or sitting about waiting to die. <laughs> <laughs> yes, whatever you might be into, be it spotting trains, training spots, stuffing fish or fishing for stuff, we're interested in your interest. And here to help, as always, are our two team captains. The first edition, Neil Sinclair. <laughs> and the Penguin Classic, Alastair trombley Birchall. Yeah. And joining Neil on his team, he's an absurdist comedian making a living from comedy. And that's really absurd. It's John Conway. Yeah. And joining John, She's a comedian working in community broadcasting who says her current project is making bulk quantities of popcorn and watching Star Trek reruns. <laughs> I hope she's looking for an intern. It's Beck Petratus. <laughs> <laughs> and on Alastair's team. She's an award-winning writer and comedy producer. In fact, she's produced more clowns than a Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> <laughs> it's Steph Brocci. Yay! And finally, he's the shining light of Melbourne comedy, <laughs> <laughs> who says he knows more about comic books than anyone with a girlfriend. It's Luke McGregor. <laughs> and now to our first round. Celebrities are a lot like you and me. They eat toast, they have eyes, they put their pants on one leg at a time. But are those pants fishing waders or are they sequin dancing tights? <laughs> well, that's what we're here to figure out. I like to imagine Robert Pattinson. <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine Robert Pattinson collects antique hairbrushes. Kevin Spacey is a champion skimboarder and Katy Perry has an entire room dedicated to her Tarzo collection. <laughs> In this first round, titled Beyonce's Woodworking Shed, <laughs> our teams are given a famous person and a list of hobbies, one of which is that celebrity's actual interest. Can they work out which one? Neil's team, you ready? Yes. Your celebrity is the Paul Hogan of golf, <laughs> Greg Norman. <laughs> So, is Greg's hobby A, scuba diving, B, dog breeding, yep. or C, metal detection? Ooh. I have no uh, idea who Greg Norman is. Neither do I! None. Well, yeah. I know who Greg Norman is. Do you know who he is? Yes. What does he do as a hobby? He's, uh, well, he's known as the shark in popular circles. Oh! Um, so, I'm assuming he got that name for his love of scuba diving. Yep. yep. And yep. killing people in the water <laughs> and getting caught in nets. And really being attracted to the smell of Do you really world? both yeah. don't know who Greg Norman is? And attacking was, people in cages. I think That's... I was born in the 90s where all the questions about S Club 7, where are we getting to that? <laughs> 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 he's golf, right? Golf. golf so he's used to holding a thing like this. <laughs> and he's also yeah. used to looking for things. And swinging. He might, yeah. Yeah, and he yeah. might lose... He might look for things too fast. Yeah. <laughs> That's how he got into golf. He was just looking for a bit of metal and went well, boom, and he, kept, he kept finding golf balls. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we've got our answer. Uh, I believe... <laughs> but no, wait a second, he's held rich. Why would he need more fucking metal? Wait, he, wasn't, bite. he wasn't before he started to play golf. <laughs> Which was when he was looking for metal. No, no, no. And he just no. fell in love with metal. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. I, I don't need a, no, no. I if he's rich, he doesn't need any more metal. He's got enough metal. He's got. He's like, <laughs> he, he buys metal he, now. Yeah, he, he just goes into metal. shops and says. Scuba diving. Scuba diving. He owns a yacht. No, scuba no. diving. It is. No, no what is it? Stop. Get off. Stop. I need an answer now. Scuba diving. Scuba diving. What's the other answer? What's B? B is dog breeding. No! He's not as a shark. He's not known as a corgi. He's not breeding with dogs. It's scuba diving. <laughs> You're correct. Yay! Yay! <laughs> 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 Greg, Greg got his nickname the Great White Shark because the unnaturally orange human was already taken <laughs> <laughs> by Paul Hogan. <laughs> so, Alistair's team, you ready? Sure. Yeah. Yes. Your celebrity is the Paul Hogan of Macaulay Culkin's ex-girlfriends. <laughs> Don't think about it. It's Mila Kunis. 
Sure. Okay. <laughs> is Miller's hobby A, paper mache, B, playing World of Warcraft, or C, hot air ballooning? Uh, ballooning, did you say? Hot air ballooning, World of Warcraft, or paper mache? Well, <sighs> is there a cold air ballooning? <laughs> you have to specify. <laughs> I guess ballooning could be anything with balloons, so... <laughs> <laughs> to your host. Uh, also, so World, World of Warcraft, I think. Yeah, like World of Warcraft, it's not so much a hobby, is it like a, just an addiction? It's a just, lifestyle. Yeah, it's just, it's just that, you know, like you, you abandon I've, your I've, kids, I've, you let them wither away and die. Why would you... You, like, you don't have, they still be in your house, you can just throw some... Yeah. Food. <laughs> I just feel like if it was hot air ballooning, we would have heard about it somewhere. <laughs> There'd be more paparazzi coverage of her hot air ballooning. Yeah. So what's your answer, guys? It's got to be B. B. Wow. Yeah, it's got to be wow. Wow. Huh? So you are correct. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, Mila Kunis was voted the world's sexiest woman alive. Yep. Alive. <laughs> she was beaten out by 25 smoking hot corpses. <laughs> and the scores after that round, both teams on one point. <laughs> this next game is called The Reason That Not A Lot Of People Know That Is Because It May Or May Not Be True. In this round, one member of each team will claim that they have a particular hobby. Shotgun. <laughs> it's, up, <laughs> it's up to the other team to determine whether or not they're telling the truth. So, Steph, oh. not Lou, <laughs> what's your hobby? Uh, I'm into dance films. Oh, it's interesting. So, Neil's team, do you think she's telling the truth? What dance film made you fall in love with dance films? Um, probably Singing in the Rain. Is that a, it's a dance bit of a film? Classic. That's it's a, a musical, film. but it's got a lot of dancing in it. I think it's more about dance than it is about rain. I know quite a bit about dance films. Um, what is in Step Up 2? Yeah. Uh, the Streets, yeah. Yeah, The Streets. Yeah. With the cleverest what? name in any movie ever, <laughs> Step Up to The Streets. Yeah. It so encapsulates it everything. Is. Step Up to The Streets, Step Up to The Streets. In the, the climatic scene of Step Up to The Streets, when yeah. they're dancing in the streets, yeah. um, what street are they dancing in? Um, I actually haven't seen number two. Oh! oh. I'm going to need an answer. I reckon yes. I'm yeah, going to say yes. So that's your final answer? I'm going to go with yes. Well, it's true. Oh. You watch a lot of dance films. <laughs> that is into dance films. One of the hardest things in writing a dance movie is coming up with reasons for the characters to start dancing. <laughs> when I go to a party, people have trouble coming up with reasons for me to stop. Oh. <laughs> uh, Neil's team. Uh, so, Beck, what was your hobby? I'm into magic. Ah. Watching magic or doing magic? A bit of both. Uh, so I love, I love Siegfried and Royd. I love David Copperfield. I had a tape when I was a kid. It got worn out. Do you like Harry Potter? <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, that's something to do with Harry Potter with my magic. I've been trying to do some sort of magic things. I have, uh, I have a lizard. He's a blue tongue lizard. His name's Dumbledore after the wizard. Oh, magic! <laughs> Can you please show us some quick magic tricks? Okay, all right, all right. I've been trying to use Dumbledore as a dove sort of thing, but it doesn't work as well. You don't but have I... the lizard here, do you? No, no, no. I, oh. I, I have what was on hand, which was... Do you have a rabbit in a hat? Because I'm allergic to rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> no, just toilet paper. Okay. I'm sorry. All right, so here are three toilet... You can see they've got numbers on them, yes? Yeah. Yeah, so what I'm going to do... Right. What am I going to do? I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to be like, ooh, maybe I'll turn around so you, you know I can't see. I either want maybe someone to run around and just tap one of the loo paper rolls. I've and seen I David Cogfield do this. Before. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. He does it all the time. All right, you ready? You ready? Is someone, assign someone. I'll, I'll do it. Someone. Wait, 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 oh, Luke, well, Luke will do it. All right, Luke will do it. All right, so I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to close my eyes and turn this Luke, way. You've got to okay, run over what and I tap one do? of these. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I think you just tap them, don't you? Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, don't take them. Don't yeah, take no, no, them. I've tapped, I've tapped them. <laughs> I think you may have ruined the trick. Uh, <laughs> all right, yeah, you can okay, turn you back now, Beck. I think this trick was already ruined. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so, now I'm just going to work out which one of the time I'm So, uh, 
<laughs> what, are, what are you feeling? I'm feeling Luke. <laughs> <laughs> what part of him are you feeling? <laughs> this one. Oh, oh. <laughs> Nailed it. How long am I going to need an answer? Yeah. I'm also gonna go with no. No way. <laughs> it's tr uh, you're, you're correct. <laughs> it is false. It's false. Beck is not into magic. Uh, did you know that the number of magicians worldwide is in sharp decline? Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Magicians are disappearing before our very eyes. Oh. <laughs> Fortunately, however, they reappear on the other side of the room. Oh. <laughs> and. And the scores after that round, both teams on two points. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's time for Interminable, where teams are given a word plucked from the terminology of a particular field of interest. Teams must name the field of interest and then use that word in a sentence. Neil's team, you ready? Yep. Your term is disturbed gum. Yeah. It sounds like a punk band from uh, <laughs> the late 70s in London. Hello, we're disturbed gum. <laughs> Here's our first single, Hubba Bubba. <laughs> oh, could it be something to do with trees? Oh. Oh. Trees, I see. Oh, now yes. you're saying it like that. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm only going to interject right. from now on in a high-pitched voice. Um, <laughs> so maybe it's... Uh, like something to do with the... Tree maybe... spotters are really looking for the lesser-spotted disturbed gum. <laughs> I reckon it's trees. 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 Yeah. Uh, you know, something... I went out the back and the tree near my dam, I'm a farmer, <laughs> is very disturbed <laughs> and all the sheep are very worried. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I can... This, this is tree... You've got to say disturbed gum. Oh, in let's, the go, let's go with punk band then. That's much better. <laughs> Fuck it, so it put it in a sentence. Hello, we're disturbed gum. <laughs> <laughs> so your, your, your field of interest is. Being a punk band. Yeah, no, 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 no. Trees. Trees? Trees. 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 What am I going to go okay, with? Okay, all right. Guys, oh, hang on, you're hang on. both wrong. Okay, oh. good. You're oh. both wrong. There's three of us sick. All of. <laughs> oh, sorry, you're all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that you said was wrong. The field of interest is stamp collecting. Boring. Oh. 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 Now it's better. Disturbed gum is uh, when the adhesive on the back of the stamp has been damaged in some way. <laughs> We asked our writers for a joke about stamp collecting, but they philately refused. <laughs> I think it's funny. Oh. Alastair's team, your term is mega minx. Mega minx. Uh. <laughs> Sounds like a really like big, sexy kitchen implement that you'd blend things sexy in. Sexy kitchen like implement. A sexy. Uh, mega yeah. minx, like a mega mix, Can but really kind of like. Name three sexy <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> 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 no, wait, wait, wait. One of those hand blenders. Yeah. Egg beater? Yeah, egg beater. <laughs> and. Spatula. Let's get a spatula. A spatula, yeah. Wouldn't... Or tongs. <laughs> <laughs> Just grab a boob with one. <laughs> 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 Is it maybe a trick on a skateboard or something? Mega minx. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, we got to figure out what a minx is, and yeah, then it's and then just a really good version of that. I reckon Mega something minx. in that area is not a bad guess. Californ yeah. Anything in the California game, sweet. Yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, frisbee uh, catching? Great. Sweet mink. No. Sweet <laughs> mink. <laughs> oh, no, I think maybe it's a, like if you're playing like an ultimate frisbee, that's in a team sport, right? Yeah. yeah. And you oh, go, we're losing, guys. We need to do the Mega Mix. <laughs> Like a flying V from the, exactly. the Mighty they're, Ducks. Exactly, they're, they're version of the flying but, but you do a mink, which was like a, like a like, small rodent. Like yeah. a, oh, you and, mink. And, and, what, and one, of the, one of the kids goes, but a kid died last time. And he's like, this time, we've got it. Yeah. The final answer is ultimate, ultimate, fris ultimate, ultimate frisbee. frisbee. <laughs> okay, incorrect. Oh. Well, you, know, you were on the right track because you said playing, but it's playing puzzles. Mega Minx is puzzles in the field of interest of puzzles. It's a 12-sided polyhedron puzzle similar to the Rubik's Cube in Operation and Solution. The Mega Minx is also similar to the Rubik's Cube in the time it takes you to throw it across the rumpus room in frustration. <laughs> <laughs> and the scores after that round. Both teams still on two points. <laughs> This
This next round is called Train Spotter Spotting. We've had questions on a particular topic submitted by three members of the public, but one of them is an expert. Teams, you have to choose which person you think you could answer a question from based only on their photograph. The people you can choose from are Anna, hmm. <laughs> Bo, <laughs> and Tony. <laughs> And this week's topic is coffee. Mm. Oh. Okay, so Neil's team, who do you want to pick? Okay, so which All one right. looks like they live in Brunswick? Uh, <laughs> well, Anna looks like she does drugs. <laughs> and she, she looks like she plays snooker because her glasses go up like <laughs> snooker people's glasses do. I, th I think I made out with her at the 2004 <laughs> Big Day Out. <laughs> <laughs> and Bo, actually. <laughs> And Tony. <laughs> <laughs> so who do you want a question from? Tony. Yeah. Did I want to Tony? beat him in his question. Tony. Yeah. Yeah. Tony's the expert. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tony, just so you know, Tony is the reach uh, Tony is the research and development manager at Coffex Coffee. Ooh, and his well, question does. is why does a cup of dark roasted coffee contain more caffeine than a cup of light roasted coffee? Because it's the way he makes it, with extra caffeine. <laughs> it's like, why is a raven like a running desk? I don't know, I don't know. I wish I, could have, I wish I could have understood the words you said. <laughs> <laughs> really helpful. What did you say? Why is a raven yeah. like a writing desk? Yeah. Why, well, is it like an unanswered, who knows? It's a riddle. Oh, it's rhetorical. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> how many cups riddle. of coffee? I love riddles. <laughs> <laughs> how many elephants do you fit in? Okay, no. <laughs> Um, so, come on, guys, what do, you, what do you reckon it is? Because it's been roasted longer and it's given more time for the caffeine to leave the bean <laughs> and uh, enter the coffee flow system, otherwise known as hot water. <laughs> <laughs> the chemical compound of hot water is H2O. <laughs> <laughs> is that your answer? I think well, so. No, obviously uh, not. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> Just made that up. Well, that, that sounds like it's got the word coffee in it. <laughs> And water, which is more than mine. So you're well, close, it... you're very close, Conway. I know. The answer is, although the beans contain the same amount of caffeine, because darker beans expand in the roasting process... This is exactly what I said. Yeah. When they are ground, there is more surface area to extract from and greater levels of extractable solids, so Solid. more well, caffeine <laughs> extracted... So, uh, just more give us a goddamn point. <laughs> into the solution. I think, yeah, we said. Yeah, and yeah definitely. Said no. Definitely I've got, got that. A, I've got word from but my third we umpire said, and no. But we said we because it was enough. roasted longer, there was more caffeine, which is what you which, said. No, I mean, no, by roasted no, longer, we meant sorry, higher surface the, the, area. I have <laughs> spoken. Sorry, we got to move on. It's so, a scientific term. Al's team. You have Yo. Anna and Bo to choose from. Sure, well, I'm glad that we can just pick from the two losers. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you want to pick? Bo. Well, <laughs> Anna looks like she puts her glasses on upside down. I like how he looks so apathetic, <laughs> <laughs> but he's dressed like that, and that's, what I, that's, that's why I want to go Bo. So who do you pick? Okay, let's just go Bo. Yeah. Bo? Bo? Yep. Okay, Bo asks, what is the Dutch word for coffee? Uh, give me one Dutch word and then I'll work, <laughs> I'll work backwards okay. from that. Claw. Coffee houses in the Netherlands don't all sell coffee either, do they? What if it's just what, coffee? What was that word you said? Netherlands? <laughs> what about coffee? <laughs> You got there in the end. And the scores after that round, Neil's team on two points, Al's team on three points. Yeah. Yeah. Now for the quick fire round. Questions all about weird and wonderful topics. Teams, you get a point for each correct answer. Teams, can you test your buzzers? There we go. All right, hands over buzzers. Let's get ready. <laughs> for for $500,000, American... Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as your answer. Oh, oh, oh. So this Sorry, goes guys. straight to Al's team. For $500,000, American collectibles retailer John Riznikoff will sell you a chunk of Abraham Lincoln's what? Chunk. He got a chunk of his head. Likely it'd be mostly his head because yeah. he got Hats. shot in the head. Did he get shot yes. in the head? Did he get shot in the head? Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's he had a chunk more... of his skull. Someone oh. press their buzzer Let's go and... Let's yeah. Chunk of skull. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 
McDonald's hair poop. and dried brain matter, to be specific. Oh. Oh. Next question. What would you do with a Zorb? You, yeah. you get in it and go rolling down a hill. Correct. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's true. A Zorb is a giant plastic ball that would roll down a hill, possibly to your roly-poly death. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. What hobby is described as moving from point A to point B in the fastest, most efficient way possible? Uh, uh, bleh, 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 right? <coughs> Wait, no, these guys... Uh, do you know? Do you know? Uh, Teleportation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Incorrect. No. What do you mean? Free, free running or... Yes, uh, correct! Oh, oh. Oh. No. I, I, I Next object. question. <laughs> what was... Sorry. What was notable about billiards player George H. Sutton? He was awesome at parkour. He, he played billiards. Nothing. <laughs> You're all wrong. What do you mean? Uh, he was dead. <laughs> Incorrect. He, is, no, he, was, he was dead. He is dead now. Yeah. I, I, he played billiards. <laughs> he only had one arm. Invented billiards? Oh! We can have that. No, I'll give you half a point. He had one something. He won because off. he had no arms below the elbow. <laughs> Hang on, no. That's like the same as one arm, it's just half of Did two. Did he have one yeah, of those? Yeah, giving half a point. Yeah, yeah. 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 Next question. My arch nemesis. <laughs> what two items should you take with you when you go gravestone rubbing? Rubbing? <laughs> Charcoal and some paper. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Never and done it. <laughs> Next question. True or false? Horse whispering involves whispering to horses. False. Oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, Back push the button. Oh, I just said false. But Correct. Yes. 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 It is false. It is a colloquial term for the variety of horse training techniques. It's also oh. my favourite film. <laughs> horse whispering <laughs> is your favourite film? Well, horse. Horse, yes, it's a sequel to Horse Whisperer. And it's more action, it's a how to. <laughs> it's just Robert Redfrey going around the various farms and getting thrown off. Final question. Horse farms. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? This is the final question. I like, no, I like the part where you're like, horse farm. And he's like, he shows up on a pig farm, starts whispering. Oh, you guys, you guys, you guys are pretty small for horses. You guys seen any horses? <laughs> he, it's called pony yelling. <laughs> Get over here, you freaking pony! You're the worst horse I've ever seen! Final question. What collectible is the Gretzky T206 Honus Wagner? <laughs> Wayne Gretzky, and it's a transformer of Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. Uh, <laughs> it's a Terminator that looks like Wayne Gretzky. Incorrect. Well, hang on, that wasn't an answer. Well, no, no, it wasn't an answer. That was a joke I made. <laughs> it was a joke. It was, it was it, Neil? It was, it was the best <laughs> one I've got. <laughs> right. The best one you've made tonight. Guys, guys, the thing is, is that every one of those answers that we've been giving that sounded stupid, they were our serious answers. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne Gretzky will be a stick. It. You're wrong, okay? So you're wrong. Is that your final answer? It was so <laughs> confident. Yes. A, a golf club. No, it's no. Cool. The a Gretzky T206 Honus Wagner is the world's most expensive baseball card. Bought in 2011 for $2.8 million by Ken Kendrick, the owner of Arizona Diamondbacks. Imagine if you dropped it in a puddle on the way home. <laughs> 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 And that's the end of the quick fire round. Tallying up the scores, well, it was a close one. Alistair's team finishes on five points. <laughs> they always yeah. announce the winner first, but so. No, no, no. Neil's team wins tonight with five and a half yeah. points. Yeah. for watching not a lot of people know that congratulations to the winning team who shoot for the moon and commiserations <laughs> to the losing team who burn up on re-entry <laughs> oh. i'd like to thank our guests john beck steph and luke <laughs> and our team captains neil and alistair yeah.
<laughs> Thank you for watching this season of Not A Lot Of People Know That. I'm Victoria Healy. Good night. Yeah.